Hey guys, welcome back to new video and in this video we're going to discuss one of the most important principle of Composable that you should know if you're using Composable in your Android projects and that is state hosting. State hosting is a principle where a Composable that need state does not hold it internally. Instead, it moved up to a caller and Composable become stateless. This follows single source of truth and unidirectional data flow principle. When we are using state hosting, we'll receive a lot of advantages. The first advantage is our composable become stateless. That means we can very easily test it and it also increases your code reusability and it gives single source of truth for data. It separates what your UI displays from how state was stored or managed and we can very easily handle the life cycles we can use remember savable or view model when needed so these are the advantages we're gonna receive when we use state hosting now it's time to see an example so for that i'm here on my id let's create a composable and the composable name is bad composable we have here an state naming counter with the help of remember savable mutable int state of initial value zero just import its getter and setter below to it we have a column which has modifier fill max size and its vertical arrangement on the center and its horizontal alignment is also on the center in this we have a text that usually used to show our state next we have spacer height of this spacer is 10 dp button and on by clicking on this button you can actually increment your counter state value so on click counter simply updates by one when user click on this button and this button ui says increase counter very simple composable right now let's use this pad composable in our scaffold pass modifier use inner padding fill max size and we are good to go now let's execute this uh, application okay so it's a very simple uh, application when you click on it it simply start incrementing the counter state now what will happen if i want to use only ui to another composable it is not possible because right now this bad composable has its own ui and in this composable it has its state so it's kind of not possible to reuse the user interface only so let's use the state hosting to increase its reusability so to do that at the bottom i'm going to create a new composable and the composable name is counter just cut this uh, user interface and paste in here now we have two things we have the state value and uh, what will happen when user click on this button so we need to host these two things so that our parent composable or our caller can very easily use it so to do that first i'm gonna pass here a counter value type is int and next when user click on the button i want to transfer this click event to my parent or to my caller so to do that we'll simply create a function and the function has input type integer and output is unit we can very simply pass on counter change to our on click but on click has different signature if you see it has no input and output is unit so we cannot directly pass it here instead we can use here on counter change dot invoke use our counter plus one and simply pass this uh, information to our parent composable or you can remove this integer from here and simply invoke it we can handle the logic on my caller let's use counter here first we need to pass modifier modifier fill max size next we need to pass our state which is counter and lastly what will happen when user click on the button so i'm using here on counter change parameter and if it happens we simply increment our counter now if you execute it it looks pretty much same no difference but right now because we are using here state hosting we can very easily reuse this component in other composables too and it doesn't care how your state was stored or managed whether it is 
present in our composable or you can use view model to store it it doesn't matter for him it's totally isolated this is a benefit of using state hosting i hope you got the point i hope you got the principle why you should use state hosting more often in your composable we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about android till that goodbye